What's up, people? Video Game XD. We are back with another video. Brought to you by Power Raid Ultra. Just joking around. Today on DVD Movie and Gamer Grabs, I went to Disc Replay in Flint, Michigan. Make sure you guys check out your local Disc Replay Movies Electronics. Much, much more. And I went to Media Reload in Burton, Michigan. Great place for video games, electronics. You know the deal, Media Reload. But let's check out what I picked up. This is going to be a huge load edition because this is a pretty big, uh, pretty big haul. For $2, that's it, $2, it is... A Xbox, an original Xbox uh, controller. Now it's a third party off brand, but I don't care. You know, it was two bucks. And this thing is in like really good condition. Like, it's like brand freaking new. Instead of the Xbox logo, you just have a green ball. It's off brand, but honestly, for an off brand controller, this feels pretty legit. Like, the buttons feel exactly. Exactly like an original Xbox controller. Um, the analog sticks feel pretty similar. Start and select feel a little bit more plasticky. The The triggers are kind of tight though. I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, original Xbox controller. This is like brand freaking new condition. $2. Now I have four Xbox original Xbox controllers for my Xbox. So if I want to get down and play some four player action, I can. That is awesome. These were $2 a piece, even though this says a dollar on it. It is Tybo Billy Blanks One Contact on DVD. Now, uh, as of late, I've been gaining a little bit of weight. So, I, you know, I'm trying to go on a diet in a way, I guess. I still eat chocolate like crazy, but I need to, I need to stop doing that. But I need to lose some weight, so I figured why not pick up Billy Blank's Tybo. I've done some Billy Blank's Tybo before, and it, it it works. It really does. And uh, this guy's awesome, so I picked that up. i got to start losing some weight. Why not get Contact 2 on DVD, Billy Blank's, for 2 bucks? And all of these are in really good condition. I already checked the disc. And Tybo Cardio. Billy Blanks. So, hopefully I can start losing some weight with this because something's got to give. I got to lose this belly. Now, here's the rest. I got a disc replay. For the PlayStation 4. For $12.99 coming at you, it is Grand Theft Auto 5. Premium Edition. Now, the premium edition comes with Grand Theft Auto Online with the Criminal M M Enterprise Starter Pack. Whatever that is. I never play GTA Online. I just play it for the single player. But um, I play Grand Theft Auto V. It is a fucking great game. It really is. This game is legendary. Way better than Grand Theft Auto IV, I'll tell you that. Uh, it is complete. comes with a poster and the disc. Already checked the disc, looks great. Uh, I already have this on the Xbox One, the 360. I th used to have it on PS3, I think. And now I have it on PS4. I figured for $12.99, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, I've seen this game go for like 15 to 20 to 25 bucks. And um, yeah, I've been wanting to play my PS4 a little bit more because I barely ever play it. I feel like I'm always playing my Xbox One, so maybe I might play it on the PS4. Instead of the Xbox One. Originally, I played it on the 360, though. Great game. For the PS4, for 99 cents. One dollar. That is it. Battlefield 1. How can I pass this up for 99 cents? I mean, when this game came out, it was $60. I remember people talking about it like crazy and saying it was really good. So, uh, when I get around to it, I might play it. It was only a dollar, so it's from EA. Oh, God, EA. But it's rated mature, so 
blood, violence, and strong language. Oh, shit. Now, I think the rest are all DVDs. On DVD, it is, uh, these were all $3.33, and you buy three, you get three free. On DVD, it is Kicking and Screaming and Big Fat Liar with um, Will Ferrell, and this movie has the dude from, um, what the fuck was that show called? I Fo- can't remember the show, but it has um, Frankie Nunez and Amanda Bynes. I remember watching these as a kid, and I really enjoyed them. Um, got it on DVD. Malcolm in the Middle, that's what it was. Uh, on DVD, it is My- Monty Python and the Holy Grail. $3.33. Watched it as a kid with my friend Thomas. My friend Thomas really likes this movie. I didn't really care for it as a kid, but I think now as an adult, I would like it more because uh, a lot of people love this movie and think it's a classic. It's hilarious. I think it's in black and white, too. No, no, it's in color, I'm pretty sure. I did not own it, so why not pick it up? On DVD, it is Matilda. It says $4.99, but I'm pretty sure it was $3. This is a great kids movie. It's like Carrie, but um, it's like a PG version of Carrie. If you've ever seen the horror movie Carrie, it's kind of like this, but it's more of a kid-friendly version. She has powers. She can move things parents never loved her you know it's a great classic from my childhood and i i think i bought my daughter this for christmas one year but i did not own it on dvd it is naked gun 33 and a third i'm pretty sure this is the third movie i don't own the first or the second sadly but hopefully i'll find it in the future Uh, The Naked Gun movies. I've seen bits and pieces of these movies, but I've never actually sat down and watched the full thing. And uh, a lot of people love these movies. They're hilarious from what I've gathered. On DVD, this is another workout video. Hip Hop Abs. Beach Body. Looks pretty interesting. Can lose weight. I need to lose weight, so I picked that up. On DVD, it is I Know Who Killed Me. Girlfriend got this for herself. Never heard of it. She's in horror movies and dark stuff, thrillers. So she picked this up. Never heard of it. On DVD, it is Red Dawn. I've never seen it, but everyone tells me it's a classic. Um, my girlfriend's like, you gotta get Red Dawn. That's a pretty sure it came out in the 80s. Pat, uh, Patrick Swayze's in it. On DVD, I got Independence Day with, uh, I'm pretty sure Will Smith was in this. This is a, some people say this movie sucked, but at the same time, it's like a 90s classic. Comes in this cool holographic case. I think that's pretty sweet. I did not own it though, so picked it up for three bucks. A lot of these I got for free too. On DVD, it is so I married an axe murderer with um, Mike Myers, you know, Austin Powers. This is a great classic movie from the 90s. Love the soundtrack to this movie as well. Had good music. It's about a movie. He dates this chick and he thinks she's she's like a serial killer. She, she, she's about to kill his ass. And turns out uh, at the end, spoiler, it's actually her friend that's trying to kill everybody. But it's a classic from the 90s. Did not own it. On DVD it is Transporter 3. Now I recently just bought Transporter 1 and 2. But I did not own the third movie. So now I have 3. Pretty sure that's all of them. There might be a 4. Not sure but I think it ended with 3 with Jason Statham. On DVD my girlfriend got this. Uh, Nothing Left to Fear. It's like a crazy dark horror movie. Never heard of it, but she's into this stuff. She said, I don't know if she's ever seen it, but she's like, this looks pretty badass. So she picked it up. On DVD, she got this for herself as well. Synetic Root, I think that says. Never heard of it, but she wanted it, so I got it for her. 
On DVD, it is, uh, oh, another Billy Blanks, Billy's Boot Camp Elite. Hell yeah, I gotta get my workout going, lose some damn weight. Billy Blanks is the shit. On DVD, it is Passengers. This is actually a cool romantic, um, like, space type movie. They go to space and they have to live in space. And they're lovers, you know. I'm really not like a huge romantic chick flick kind of guy, but I actually kind of enjoyed this movie. I did, I really did. And uh, I did not own it on DVD, so I picked it up. On DVD, it is a haunted house with Marlon Wayans. This is a hilarious movie. Hilarious. If you like scary movie, you know the scary movie movies. You'll love this because it's kind of like that, but it's make instead of making fun of like horror movies, it's making fun of um, paranormal activity, which paranormal activity is pretty corny. So they decided to make fun of it with this movie, and uh, they did a pretty damn good job. There's also a sequel to this, part two, which was pretty funny too. But I, I think I liked this one a little bit better. Love the Wayne's Brothers, always have. Awesome movie. Pretty sure I've seen, I seen that in the theater when it came out. On DVD, it is The Godfather Part 3. Now, I own the Blu-ray collection, but uh, I do have the, the first movie and the second on DVD. But I did not own the third movie. So why not pick it up and have it in my DVD collection as well. Um, the case is all fucked up, but whatever. As long as I got the disc, that's all I care about. Um, when it comes to DVDs. Um, yeah, Godfather Part 3. Did not own it. Godzilla on DVD. This is the one that came out in 1998. I'm pretty sure that's when it came out. 98 or 99. And this movie had so much hype surround it. I remember as a kid, I seen ads to this movie everywhere. There was toys at McDonald's and Burger King. Fucking... They pushed the hell out of this movie. And guess what? It sucked. It sucked. It's considered one of the worst Godzilla movies ever made. <laughs> Maybe I can go back and rewatch it. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember it. But I remember it like critics like shut like fucked this movie up. But um it had a lot of hype. It even though it sucked, it's still a pinnacle of the 90s. I remember when this came out, so I did not own it, so I'm not really a big Godzilla kind of guy, but uh, I remember that from back in the day when I was a kid, so. And the last movie I got, this is an 80s classic, pretty sure it came out in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, did not own it, Killer Clowns from Outer Space on DVD. And I love that cover. That is badass. <laughs> yeah, I did not own this movie. And um, I remember uh, years ago I watched it, but I got to go back and rewatch it because it's one of those movies I just seen like on TV, like bits and pieces or maybe like half the movie. Then I uh, fell asleep or I turned the TV off, you know, shit like that. I got to go back and rewatch the full movie of uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space because this is a fucking... This is a classic Killer Clown movie. I'm pretty sure this is one of the first Killer Clown movies ever made, you know, from back in the day. And, um, yeah, I'm down with Killer Clowns, you know. That's cool. So those are all my pickups, you guys. I'm not going to go through all of them because I got a lot and they're, all, they're on the floor right now. So That was my haul today. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow Video Game X Day on Twitter, follow us on Twitch, like us on Facebook. You know the rest. I'm Charles Reed. See you next time.